Alright folks, welcome back to Let's Play Zork Nemesis, the game that is blasting in my left ear and I can't hear it on my right ear because of my headphones. Zork Nemesis for your PC only, or Macintosh I suppose. Not available on home systems. I mean, consoles, never mind. Um, Okay, so you'll notice I've got three save slots now because I have an off-screen. So what I decided to do is go through and try to play the game more or less fair, recur referred to a hint occasionally, mostly because pixel hunting is incredibly frustrating um, now that the game isn't really meant to run on my computer. So the whole... You've noticed in the first couple videos, saving, shutting down, turning off, pan, uh, relief... Going back in, finishing a puzzle, saving, going out, turning pan relief back on. Yeah, that kind of having to switch back and forth is making pixel hunting even more frustrating. Um, you'll see what I'm talking about, but we're going to do the conservatory next. Uh, well, it's first, actually, of the four locations outside of this temple of the elements or whatever we we're visiting. We're doing that one first. Uh, there are four different self-contained self little puzzle areas. And... Um, this has got a couple ones where it's going to be much more difficult, not because the puzzles are harder, but just because of the uh, interface issues will make it much more difficult. And I've referred to hints for mostly, um, because there's stuff where if you, f you find clues and you need to write them down, uh, a combination of clues from the manual and from things that you see uh, wandering around. And... Uh, anytime I can, anytime I, I know I've gathered all the pieces of information I need to figure it out, I just need to write it down um, and match different diagrams or whatever, I pretty much go to a hint book at that point because, hey, uh, you'll see what I mean when we get going. But uh, I off-screen my way through the end of this thing, got to the last puzzle of it. I'm not sure if the game crashed or if it did something wrong, but I figure I'm close enough to the end that we can go through it on camera together by choosing the wrong safe slot. Right, now we've got the right save slot. Pan relief is off, because one of the first things we're going to come across is something where I need it off. Green planet is water planet. Which is, I think, Venice something. It's not Venus, it's something similar. And I think we've already seen this, but let's watch it again. The conservatory folks. It's a fun place to live or play. Flood Control Dam number 7 is nearby. But we're not visiting Flood Control Dam number 7. We're visiting the Frigid River Conservatory. This is home to Lady Hamilton. Or rather, it's where she worked, I suppose. Maybe it is her home. But Lady Hamilton is one of the four alchemists. We found out by reading the manual that the four people who went missing are Lady Hamilton, the, uh, well, the music lady, basically. Also, General War Guy, uh, Priest Fire Guy, and Doctor Something. But I'm um, flipping through the manual. And it is. This is. This conservatory was the stomping ground of Madame Sophia Hamilton, the musician and headmistress of the Fr Frigid River Branch Conservatory. And um, she was killed by Nemesis. To recount the plot, and a lot of this is stuff I really should have read the manual more carefully. I don't think I ever read the manual all the way through uh, when I had this game years ago and playing through it with a friend as an undergrad. But basically, then, then there are four four people. We know now that they're alchemists because we went to the temple of whatever. But the manual recalls basically, I think, our adventures as we traced the roots of this whole problem. And we found out who these four people are without knowing they're alchemists, although we heard alchemy mentioned. But, uh, apparently, uh, Lady Sophia Hamilton, Madame Sophia Hamilton, aka Music Lady, along with uh, General War Guy, uh, Priest Fire Guy, and Doctor Guy, were all killed by Nemesis. And, hold on a second. Sorry, was a wrong number. I hope I remember to edit that out. It's one of the things about having an Afghan cell phone is you can't always convince the guy who dialed the wrong number. It's difficult to get them to understand that there's no point talking to you anymore. They, you don't speak Dari. Or Pashtun. Anyway. Yeah, so, um... Madam Music Lady, um... Doctor Guy, Priest Guy, and General War Guy 
have uh, all been murdered by Nemesis, along with Lucius, the son of General Warguy, and Alexandria, the daughter of Fireguy. And we found out at some point that Alexandria... Well, we've seen pictures of a girl playing a violin. It will become apparent very shortly, but I think at this point you could already have guessed that Alexandria was a student at the conservatory. So, at least two of Nemesis's six victims uh, were connected to this place. So let's wander around here and find out what we can find them. Hey, it's a... Uh, it's a lady with the Wheel of Fate on her back, possibly. I thought, and these cherubs, I thought maybe they were like marionettes. Been watching the, um... Watching some movies recently in the camp as I get mine down my tour, hanging out with one of the contracting officer guys. Been watching, uh, Puppet Master movies. <laughs> so that's been fun. There's a picture of girls and happy faces. And uh, one of those people in the see, this is why I hate the whole pan relief being off, but we'll need it in the next puzzle. That's Lady Hamilton. One of these people, I think the one in the front, is supposed to be Alexandria. Alexandria Hamilton, if she was Lady Hamilton's daughter, but she's not. She doesn't get to start the banking system. Anyway, here we are. This is, I guess, where I thought we would need the... Uh, Pan thing to be off. Because if you look to the sides here, where I'm really getting frustrated by this. I see musical instruments. But these are made up Zork instruments. Snatch that. Some kind of magical Zork um, squeeze box accordion. Grab that. It's a Zork French horn of some kind. And whatever the hell this is. Oh, it's a harp. Guitar. And this is why we need the um, scan can leap off. Because you can't exit the screen without it. Of course, it won't go far enough for the exit to be highlighted. Well, we got four more instruments over here. We got this thing. We got a violin. Got the drum. And whatever this is. Some, some kind of woodwind. Okay, we can probably save now, and we can probably... Um, I don't think I've got anything too embarrassing showing on my desktop. So we can quit. Turn uh, pan relief back on. And go back into the game. Because we could not have gotten out of that, we could not have picked up those instruments and gotten out of those screens without pan relief. It's another nice thing about having me, me uh, playing through this off screen once before recording. Uh, I might not remember them all because it's quite a bit of switching back and forth, but it should be a way to preemptively get out of. Oh, except that I just did a stupid thing, and I saved. I got out right before we exited this screen. What was I thinking? Ugh, sorry, folks. Let's just talk about how I could save a lot of time by not having to do this repeatedly if I remember when the correct times to do it are. But then I totally fouled up in my very first time, so, alright. Okay. Pan relief is back to being off. At least I'm saving on the very first slot, which would make this a little bit easier. Okay, pan relief back on, go back to the game, I swear we'll get this rolling eventually. Oh, I didn't even know what time it was when I started recording the video. 
Well, I'll get a reminder next time. We, next time we quit out, I'll be able to check my sound recorder and see where it's at. Okay, so we picked all that stuff up. What else have we got on the screen? That would appear to be a record player, phonograph player of some kind. So we'll keep going deeper into the conservatory. We will keep going deeper into the conservatory that I just crashed the game. Alright. What is this? Harmony of the Spheres. Something, something. She would appear to be holding a violin. I'm assuming that's Alexandria. Boiler room. Locked. And you can hear the frigid river outside. You'll be hearing that in the background throughout. Ooh, a dumpy... Is she a ghost? Too late. We're closed. Sorry. Thanks for coming. Bye-bye. Just for some reason, I'm, I'm picturing this actor and whether or not she takes a lot of pride in that performance. Not much of a role. Grand Inquisitor would have forced in some humor, Show? though. Here? <laughs> Where have you been all your life? <laughs> Show. Yeah, right. That's a good one. Yeah, Grand Inquisitor would have given her, like, goofier dialogue, but it wouldn't necessarily have been better. <laughs> this game, of course, came before Grand Inquisitor. This would have uh, probably the front door to the place, but that's not how we came in. Here's a picture of stuff. Here is Zork Music Soul Academy for Girls. General Thaddeus Kane, principal founder. He is, I believe, General War Guy, so he must have paid for this place. Which is weird. I assumed it existed before he did. Uh, like maybe he's like the a main sponsor, but I, they just they made him the founder. So he's one of Odo's people. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, uh, sorry, folks. Okay. Uh, there's a box. Ah, there's a piano. Oh, I've got a lovely bunch of coconuts. Suddenly I missed the critic. Oh, there's a piano. Ah, interesting. So there's... Uh, you know, there's people who watch my videos who know about music. Uh, I'm sure these things have names. But as far as I'm concerned, the things what make the notes after you press the key on the piano are missing. What is the significance of this? Well, I think I stumbled on the solution. I didn't need the hint book for this. Although I realized after I figured it out, there was probably a way you were supposed to figure out what to do. And I just kind of kept messing with stuff until it worked. The Charge of the Yipple Brigade, performed by the Frobaz Phil Philharmonic Orchestra. This is actually something... I just... I wasn't thinking about it. I found it this time. Pixel Hunt. Uh, I needed a hint book to realize that this was here before. Because I was like, oh, I thought I've done everything I can think of to do. What do I need to do? And I found out I didn't notice this. Pixel Hunting. This time, I just kind of stumbled across it right away. Charge of the Yipple Brigade... Flatheadia Overture for Rack and Pendulum... <laughs> Harmonica hits for the home. Only 9.99. And you got Feasty, Fibridus, CM, something. I don't know if these names are. The Reverend. Relive the 30s. Sophia Hamilton plays the blues. Piano love songs. Introduction to the orchestra. That one you can take. And Alexandria something, well, something, debut album. It's Alexandria Wolf. And I think Wolf is the fiery priest guy. So this is, uh, what, this is the girl who was killed by Nemesis. You can take her debut album. And you leave the rest behind. This I did notice on my own. Little box with a tuning fork. And without knowing very much about the piano, I kind of gathered what this must be, this is where you put not the musical instruments, not the albums, the tuning fork. 
Then if you drum it. Okay, so I just messed around with the keys and eventually I was like, whoa, I heard a clunk, something happened. Then I realized, oh, you're supposed to be using the pitchfork to find that key. And then, you know. In the meantime, oh, I was hoping you could kind of take it back. No, you don't get to re reclaim that for your inventory. So, we heard a sound. Maybe it is supposed to look like this. Maybe there's nothing missing. I just don't know what I'm talking about. But this thing showed up. It's like a little key wind thing. Okay. So we're in somebody's office, rather, on music and perfection. By R. Blood. It's not publishing. The I ah, see now this is where you uh, I'm going to go ahead and use the hint book, but yes. This is where you find out the names of the weird-looking instruments. You don't know what they... S well, as you pick them up, you find out what they sound like. And I think if you go drop them back in the room where you got them, you can figure out for yourself what the sounds are by the names and stuff. But The violin is the most soulful of the orchestral instruments. The fleasel is a wind instrument with a medium pitch. The nambino is an antherian percussion instrument. And the popper keg is a small percussion instrument. Now in the manual, we actually have little drawings of the violin, the fleasel, the getter aglini, and the miano, which means that by my count, there is one musical instrument that we haven't seen its picture and its name, because the violin shows up in the manual and on this little hint thing. I don't believe that you can uh, flip the page here. But I'm not really willing to take the time, go out, shut off uh, pan relief to find out. It's not worth it. Because by process of elimination, there's only one instrument left that we don't know the name of. And uh, there are other places where we'll see them all listed by name, and we'll be able to figure out which one is which. And you're going to need to know which of these is what name and makes what sound for a puzzle later. Okay. And we've got that same picture again with Lady Hamilton, and there's... Uh, Alexandria, no, Lady Alexandria Hamilton, and she's Lady. No, she, she was Lady Hamilton. Where did I get Alexandria Hamilton? She's not actually Hamilton, is she? Doesn't matter. I'm flipping through the book as though this matters. Madame Sophia Hamilton. Oh, that's right. I was—I didn't say her name was Alexandria Hamilton. I was saying that if she was Lady Hamilton's daughter, she was Alexandria Hamilton, and she could have uh, created the banking system. This was an area where I assumed there was a pixel hunt going on. Actually, there's not. It looks like some place where like one of these books be exactly the right spot reveals the most important item in the game. Same deal over here. Look at this. Sophia, it is rainy and grim here. The fields are muddy and littered with corpses. I am tired of all this. All I want in the world is to return to my castle. The Battle of Flood Control Dam number 678 was more brutal than I expected. Elrond, backed by the enchanters, has discovered some magical scroll which causes weapons to turn to fudge. It is disheartening and sticky. Liz wrote that she is considering spending the fall at her mother's villa in Antharia. 
Say the word, and I will further convince her to make the retreat to the Restoration Island climb. For her health, you know, and for mine. Kane. Liz is... There's a picture of her in the manual. She's the wife of this guy. Uh, so apparently he's saying that she wants to leave and that he doesn't seem to mind that. Sophia, you may, you say I seem wrathful. I that and far beyond. I'm close to giving up on my son. Lately, Lucian has become suspicious, nearly paranoid, searching my room, pilfering my private papers. I am at a loss. He is in love with that girl, your precious prodigy, I know, and nothing I say will stop him. Not that big a surprise. The one young male and young female character... I mean, not that the other characters are old, but they have like a sort of younger male and a younger female character, one precisely of each, it turns out they're in love. Not big shocker in a game like this. You say to be forceful, and I try, but he is my only son. It is hard for me to deny him that which he wants most. So, what then? K. S. And so the holidays pass, and still we are nowhere near each other. Liz and I are fighting again, which does dampen the festivities somewhat. It's not that she questions my formal loyalties to her and my family. She knows I will never leave her, but I suppose I can hardly blame her if she feels my heart is no better than any. How I hate to discuss these matters as if I were a gossiping girl. I live where I live, and I love whom I love. Praise Yorick that all that is all there is to say on the subject. Okay. Madam Hamilton, I have refilled your black guy's lamp. I also took the liberty of cleaning your lamp key slot. You should keep your key in your slot, madam, because there was all kinds of dust and dirt in there, and that no good. That'll be a Zorkman for this week and one for the last, if you don't mind. You were playing real nice today. You were playing real nice today. Keep practicing. Sincerely, Brog. <laughs> Sophia, it is rainy and grim here. The feel. Oh, sorry. I thought that was a letter from somebody else. There's a letter later from a female, and I started reading it. Yeah, it was. But it was the general war guy again. So, although I was going to try this anyway, that's our clue that the key goes here. And then you turn it. Oh, you pull the string. And we have. Ooh. Well, we saw the boiler room. Somewhere near the boiler room is the female symbol, which means that that's the alchemical thing we're looking for. Prepare the boiling solution, seed with the crystal, purify the crystal, ring the notes together. That is the solution to the final puzzle, but it'll be a while before we can actually get there. And I believe that's all there is to do in this room. Now, this really seems like some place where we should... Get your ticket here! Get your ticket! Get your ticket here! But uh, we don't have the ability to get a ticket now. So I don't know if we have to get a Zork mid or what. Let's go up the stairs. Yeah, there's music playing. I always thought this game had a really, like, kind of cool, creepy atmosphere. Because you're, you're very much hanging around in a place that used to be used to be full of life and is now abandoned and it's kind of creepy. So we see lots of beds, little small spaces separated by curtains. This, I'm assuming, is the dormitory. There's nothing to be found in any of these other ones. It's only this last one. First things first, let me show you what I only found out about because of the book. I didn't notice in the pixel hunt that you can look down. And there are floorboards that you can pull up. Dismember 12, 944. Alexandria, there's something going on with my father. I thought it was something to do with Thadium and his battles with Elrond. Now I suppose it is far more dangerous than that. He says little of his latest invention, only that it involves pure lead. He's putting it on Chinese toys. He's painting them. Never mind. And it is very dangerous. My father would not harm us, but I fear he cannot save us either. You once said you wanted to explore the Empire. Voyage across the Great Sea. Come with me, Lucian. Suspender 1, 944. My dear girl, please do not be upset. Madame Sophia wants only the best for you. You will always be my child, my only family. But, oh, actually, this is, uh, this is the fire priest guy. <clears throat> my dear girl. Please do not be upset. Madame Sophia wants only the best for you. You will always be my child, my only family. But you must always remember that you are one of those people for whom life has chosen a special destiny. We all believe in your magical talent. 
to be pure of heart and spirit, and I shall always be your loving father. Alexandria, my father wants me to join his army in their fight against the Enchanter's Guild in Elron. He's been our nemesis for so long, I feel I know him intimately. Magic, power, and politics, where did they get so complicated and corrupt? My father says he fights in the name of honor and truth. No truth I know of. Medicine, education, laws, and religion, they mean nothing to me. My only truth is you and your music, Lucian. Wow, his handwriting is pretty, pretty weird. Alexandria, there is something going on with my father. I thought it was something... I already read that. Okay, so this is just background. You don't need that at all, but... I didn't find out about it. It's the kind of thing where if you're pixel, you get stuck and you're pixel hunting, you find that you're like, ooh, ooh, this is the solution to everything, and it's like, no, it's background fun stuff. The muse, the music on the power of melody. Alexandria, the path to purification is through the magic of the notes. Love, Sophia. The musings on the power of melody. As nature worketh joyously in this manner, so much more joyously when music is joined with nature. For music prepareth the soul for nature, and prepareth the soul for the end of nature. For in the soul are there five notes, and in these five notes wilt thou find the soul of the world. In the soul of the world is the one soul of all things, mysterium magmum, endless questions and quest come to rest. So lies the great work of our philosophy, the one perfection, more natural than nature, more virtuous than virtue, more pure than purity, the one stone of the five, the quintessentia. The way of the wise passes through the twin, twin temples of nature and music in her glory and works. Five notes. In all of music there are but five notes of consequence. Possess these five notes, and thou wilt possess the gloria mundi. The darkness of all flesh will flee from thee. Yeah. That's not that useful. Uh, I think they just flat out tells you later on what the five important notes you're going to need are uh, in solving one of the puzzles. Path to musical perfection. Whole dispositions, virtues, and natural motions depend on the activity of the heavens and the harmony of the heavenly spheres. And uh, the harmony of the spheres is actually a, a real, like, I think it's a Victorian era concept. You can read about it if you're interested. So this is like this is drawing on actual past philosophy. Uh, I don't think they actually get into talking about the humors and balancing humors and uh, you know how you need a certain amount of collar and you don't want to have too much bile or whatever. But it's it's the same Victorian era philosophy that they're they're picking up on. These harmonies link the visible with the invisible, causing the superior spiritual essence to descend and converse below with the lower corporeal flesh. When this occurs, all of nature grows and turns strangely exalted, bearing for one brief moment the stamp of heavenly impression. In this one moment we do see the elements of the world, terra, air, aqua, ignis. Quicken, well, that would be, of course, earth, air, water, and fire. Quicken with animus, with life, with being. The stellar harmonies, the music of the cosmos, can be found in the simplest of melodies and chord. If the order of the notes reflect the true order of the spheres, both fixed and mutable. If the true order is made known, and the harmony of the spheres is played with a hand both pure and worthy, the panacea, elixir of life, and one quintessence will appear, and the great work will make itself manifest. Of the greatness there can be no doubt. He that has once the flower of the sun, the perfect ruby, which he calls elixir, not only can do that, but by its virtue can confer honor, love, respect, long life, give safety, valor, yea, and victory to whom he will. In eight and twenty days I'll make an old man a fourscore a child. Again, background stuff. doesn't flat out tell you exactly anything you need to do. It's just kind of neat background stuff. So we've got... This looks for all the world like something you should be able to open. Oh, I have to twist that. Oh, you gotta... Oh, this is neat. I didn't actually find this at all while I was, um... Didn't actually find that when I was playing around uh, off-screen. Here's a mirror. I don't think I found this either. Mirror, mirror, on the desk. When I'm sincere, will I touch my breast? With the passion and the brilliance and... Uh, I know you're not ordinary. Don't you see that? You're brilliant. Important. Magical. Please, don't throw away that power. I want to make my own mistakes. Maybe I did see this. It's not worth it. Let him wait.
Okay, so it looks like Elizabeth was trying to leave the conservatory to be with her boyfriend, who was trying to get away from his daddy, Uncle Warbucks. Uh, daddy Warbucks, who is fighting a war, and yeah, it's like a little typical lover's tale. There's a war going on, they're trying to get away from it. Both of them have parental figures trying to stop it. Okay, I'm cool with that. This is another thing I, I needed a hint book for. I just didn't, I just flat out didn't notice this This was here. Uh, so you got Music for the Moon. You got another poster for her. This is like an art book of her stuff. Descent of Yorick into Hell. Concert for Violin and Frobophone. This one you can actually pocket, and we need to if we want to win the game. So we're done here. I want to save because I've lost track of the time and I want to make sure that I don't go too far over 30 minutes. You'll pardon me. I should be I should have been paying better attention when I started. Normally I would. That's my sound recorder file. I'll say 32 minutes. So I have good instinct. That's about almost exactly time to end the video. So we're going to end the video. When we come back, we are going to pick up where we left off because uh, having played through this thing, I can uh, move through at a relatively good clip. But at this point, we haven't really hit any puzzles yet. I mean, we did the puzzle on the piano and uh, we figured out what to do with the key that we found. But uh, the big bad puzzles uh, in this one involve actually arranging a zorchestral orchestra. And um, or a zorchestra is, I guess, is the actual thing to say. Um, we'll be coming to that in the next video, and that's the one where I start having a uh, mouse, like you know, hyperfast panning nightmares. <laughs> uh, so you've got that to look forward to. But in the meantime, I remain the mysterious JG, um, tragically separated from my uh, violin expert lover because my dad wants to go to war, and I'm like, so uh, we'll get more fun, exciting drama next time. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you then. Bye-bye.